Hello and welcome to Tech 18. I am Amat Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how you can navigate using a drop down or combo box here. Right? For example, I have a bikes here. If I select here a clothing, then it has to change the value of clothing here. Now if I select anything here like accessories, now it is changing up here everything on this selection. So this actually gives an end user if they want to look for, go to any product or any category if they haven't. Uh, see on this drop down or in the table, then they can just look for the information here. Like for example, I'm looking for this India kind of thing. Then I can, I'm not able to see this information here, right? So I click here and then look for this one. So it has to be I and I. So I just type the wrong name. And oh, I got this information. Now if I click on this particular thing, it's now redirecting to that particular thing. That's cool. So if I select here and close everything, I can able to see a list of information. Right now, this is very less here. If we have a thousands of records, then we may not be able to look for that information. So in that case, we need to type here in order to filter the data. Like if I want to filter for eight, oh, I can get this value and then I need to select this here. Then it is going to redirect me on that particular thing. That's cool here. So I can select a component. I can also see to the component here. How this can be done, we are going to look into this demo. If you're new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure you turn on the notification on your devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, let me know in the comment section below. So now, I request you all to subscribe to my channel. As per YouTube analytics, 90% of my viewers are not my subscribers. So that's a hard feeling. So I request you all subscribe now, like and share this video. That actually helps me in order to boost my confidence to do a lot more. So here, this is basically a drop down, which is a combo box here. And here um, you can see the item property, which is basically the category one, which is from the category table. And on select property, it is actually reflecting the value here, right? So how it, this is possible? This is possible because we are taking every value here, showing up here. So update context, I'm updating these values here. Variable category here, category equal to selected this dot value. Come CMB category, which is this one, that selected dot product key. For the name, selected dot product name. And for image link, it has to be brought image here. I'm just updating these things as a variable. And that variable I'm actually assigned to these particular controls here, which you can see here. And you can see where product category key here. And for this, this is showing up here category name. Um, yeah, category name here. So if you're following up along with my this video series, then you might be clearly understand about this, how it actually works. By applying these simple things, it actually works. Now, if you notice one beauty here on this selection of this particular thing, even though I am just selecting this data source as an entire table, but on the display property of these things, I can select on the edit here. I am now showing up here only one thing, which is product category name as a display property of this combo box. But on the on select property here, I can just take any column from that. That's the beauty here. So you can see I'm just declaring here variable com category cmb category dot selected dot. If I click on dot here, it's going to list me all the values, all the columns inside to that particular table or collection. That's the source from that particular combo box here. So that's the reason I'm able to pick all the information required for me here. And then I'm using the logic here to apply on a variable and that variable I'm using up here. All simple as that. It just it looks like a hard value, but it is simple here. And this also gives a user more flexibility as a part of user experience here. All right, if you like this video, even though it's a short one, but just a good one actually. If you like this video, just hit the big thumbs up button. If you're new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure to turn on the notification on your devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.